You've seen me with walking dogs because I actually have um, zero tolerance for, for uh, sluggishness. I don't like it when dogs are sluggish. I like it when dogs are no, active, no. You know, when you, even when they are not getting what you want, to, you want them to do, but then you say, do this thing, and they like attempt to do it. It's, it shows that, okay, with little help, this dog can actually do this thing. Uh -huh. But then when you are saying, hello, come here, hello, and the dog is not even looking at your side. You know, we have, we know, you know them now. So <laughs> we have some of them like that, that even when you are calling them and trying to entice them and all that, they just look away and be like, what's this one saying? So they are good dogs, you know, I, I don't, I don't hold anything against them. Uh, but I like, I like it when dogs are, you know, so sluggish dogs, no. But yeah, active dogs. So I would classify all those dogs as walking dog. Yeah. So any dog that is active and you know, ready to learn, they're my type of dog. And training them is, I would not say it's um, hard, I would like to say it's easy. I would say it's something you just need to love doing. If you love doing it, if you, if you really want to do it, because it needs time. It needs time, it needs you to be to be a uh, consistent uh, with doing it, because that is when the result comes out. Yeah, whatever you teach a dog today, if you ask the dog like, hey, come here. Even if you come today, you never actually learn that, you know. <laughs> the dog is here to understand what you're, you're trying to teach. Uh, just actually replying to, like, uh, uh, replying to your, that present, uh, gesture like if you're trying to lure the dog or something uh, so the dog is replying to that present moment what you're doing at that present moment but then the dog starts learning when you repeat that same thing you no know, every day every time you know when you repeat them then it starts you no know, getting used to doing that thing so whenever you make you know these guys they don't they don't even understand language they understand sound you get so when you make that sound they'll remember okay last time i this person made this sound and i did this particular thing and he rewarded me gave me food or maybe my toy so let me do that thing again concerning genetics once you have a puppy already there's nothing you can do anymore the genetics is there already do, do you get it eh so whatever was whatever was uh, inputted by the breeder, whatever was you know, combined to form that puppy already is done. You cannot do anything about it. So if you are looking for a dog that that is active, you no, know, let me just use uh, the term a walking dog. I think you should you should you should be careful while selecting. Mm, you should be careful, uh, careful while, while selecting. That is why you, you should uh, play with the pedigree of the dog a lot. Check it, you know. Check it. Find, make research. Do research. Find the dogs. Those dogs that are inside the pedigree. Look for them. It's, I know it is hard to see, to know too many things about old dogs. Some are not even alive anymore. But then you, you feel me now. Eh? What I do is if I, if I see a dog, and I want to know about that dog. I go to every social media and I start, start typing the name of that dog. Maybe sometimes, maybe last 10, 20 years, somebody might have just uploaded a video and you know, inserted that uh, name there. The video will pop up, I'll see something about it. Then the other thing is ask people that know more than you. Sure you understand. Me, I have people that I used to disturb every day. In fact, some of them are already tired of me, but no problem. Sure, you understand. I will still ask them tomorrow. I'll still ask questions. So I ask questions a lot. So you can ask those type of people. I please, this dog, do you know this dog? How is this dog? Is it a, a, the type of dog I like? I want to do so so thing with this dog. Can I work with the dog? Now, when you ask those people, you, you already have a um, little idea about what you are going into. So the hand, then, then you now pray to God for the remaining. <laughs> <laughs> because it, nothing is 100% sure. Yeah, nothing is 100% sure. So that's that about genetics. So, um, so this, this right here is Alice, Alice von Dodava. She's, um, she's from uh, a very popular store in Nigeria. It's uh, Bari Barish. 
and uh, in fact popularly known as Blackie. A uh, Blackie is a uh, is a very strong dog, dog with a very strong character. You know, uh, so and she had, her mother is um, Ruby Von Sweetmaster. So she 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 came out from very good dogs. Because presently we are uh, preparing her against uh, we are preparing her for the working trials. Although yet we are not we don't have those trials here in Nigeria, but with the introduction of uh, GSDBA, we we are looking forward to you know those things. Those things should start. Uh, coming up very soon. Let's see this this coming year now. I think something even if it is just maybe BH or something. So we are trying to prepare Alice. So she's a very sweet girl, like my my good friend, a very good friend. 